Hello everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. So today in the playlist, we will be discussing about some examples of NFA. Okay. So here, our problem statement is construct a NFA of length two string. Okay. So we will construct the NFA for length two string. So the same example we have defined, we have drawn in the in case of DFA. Okay. But NFA, you will see that it's very easier compared to DFA. Okay. So firstly, let me define that this set of strings okay strings will be made of the alphabet set with symbols a and b only okay there won't be any further symbol so construct a nfa to accept the string of length greater than equal to 2 okay so the at least length should be 2 it means that the smallest string should be a a a b b a and b b okay after that anything can happen so we need to define the NFA like this suppose capital A is our initial state given A or B will go to another state intermediate state which state is defining or representing that we have already covered a single symbol right then after that we need to cover another symbol hence we will go to some final state okay uh, let me represent this final state as C from here in case of DFA okay so I mean in our given problem it is telling that the length can be greater than or equal to 2 so already 2 we have covered after that a or b if we are getting a or b we will go to the same state or the accepting state because we won't care as our condition is already satisfied okay and if you remember in dfa there was no you know no dead state in case of length greater than or equal to 2 Okay, there was no dead state in case of length greater than equal to 2. Hence, there won't be any date configuration. Okay, there won't be any date configuration for the given NFA2. Okay, but that is not the same case for length equal to 2. Okay, when you have to exactly match that the length is 2. Right, so let's try to draw the NFA for that. So, as I already told that our given alphabet is having only two symbols that is A and B okay so after covering one symbol we are going to intermediate intermediate state after covering the second symbol our i mean string should be accepted by the nfa okay but here we can leave the nfa up to this point okay you can see we can leave the nfa up to this point wherever the situation is coming that the length two string is coming it will be accepted right but if you remember the dfa okay let me draw the dfa parallelly if you remember the DFA of the same question, you, you may find that after going to the final state itself, okay, after going to the final state itself, we should have to define what will happen if we get the alphabet A or B, okay. If we get the symbol A or B at the final state, what will happen? We need to define that in the DFA also, okay. So, in the DFA, if we get A or B, we will go to some dead state okay in the dfa if we if we get a or b after or in the final state we will go to some dead state okay where the case is not similar for nfa i mean in nfa we will only see the given condition okay after that what is happening we don't care because every other possibilities will be handled by the date configurations okay but here in dfa we need to explicitly define the dead states okay we need to explicitly define the dead states whereas in nfa it will be handled by the date configurations okay now going to the next question where length is less than equal to 2 okay that means it is a finite language which will accept null string of length a1 then string of length 2 okay only these seven strings will be accepted by this language right so here as you can see that null is being accepted so initial state should be final state after that given a single symbol that will also be accepted again given two symbols okay so this intermediate state is representing that we have already covered a single symbol right and after that this symbol is representing that we have covered two symbols right so we are done with the nfa structure we are done with the nfa structure but if you see for the dfa if you see for the DFA, DFA should have some dead state here. Okay, DFA should have 
some dead state here because from the final state we don't know what will happen if we get a or b okay so in case of nfa we don't know what will happen but in case of dfa we need to explicitly mention them okay that what will happen given the final state and given the input help input symbols a or b what will happen we need to make sure that those production rules are in the production rule set okay so that's the i mean comparative analysis between dfa as well as nfa okay if you have any points or any queries or doubt please raise it to the comment section thank you for joining me